Hi everyone, welcome to Stars and Pearls. I'm so happy that you found your way here. I hope you click like, subscribe, and share, and that you drop a comment in the comment section below this video. So with that being said, let's get started. This video is on the month ahead, on the month of April 2024. What's it bringing? What's coming up for us? What's coming through? So I did make a few notes already before I dive into the cards. And you can see, like some of you guys know, I always have a journal or dream journal, day journal, which I do recommend to everybody to just write down your notes, your insights, your perceptions, your dreams, your day-to-day -day things. And in time, it all starts to make sense. But in any case, what came up was unfortunately, another death in leadership. This could be in royalty or um, someone who's standing at the forefront, at the vanguard of, of everything, of the world. And um, I feel someone who is significant, someone who we kind of look up to, someone who, well, not look up to in that sense, but someone who was up there in hierarchy. And um, it feels as if someone is leaving this planet um, in a sudden way or a way that um, is astounding to the rest of us. Um, more information on Tesla and Elon Musk. There's a sudden energy of pivoting when it comes to April, where everything is all of a sudden topsy-turvy. It just gets turned on its head, but not in a negative way, not in a bad way, not in a bad sense. There are surprises and opportunities that go in with that, as well as romance is a big topic in the month of April coming up. So let's have a look and just see. Okay, so with the cards, let's have a look with the cards and see what's coming up for April, please. What's coming up for April? April 2024. April 2020, 24, 2020, 24. Okay, what's coming up? April 2024, what are the themes and topics for the collective, please? So the overall energy is we've got the sun and we've got the moon. Wow. Now, the sun and the moon together, it's going to be dominated by the eclipse. <laughs> Clearly, this is showing up as um, eclipse energy. So, yes, we have the entire month of April from the 1st to the 25th. We're in Mercury retrograde, but it's not that bad. It's a very soft retrograde because there's some other great aspects that are going in, such as um, Venus conjunct Neptune, I believe. And let me just check the list that I have here. One second. Um Yes, Venus conjunct Neptune, Venus sextile Pluto um, later on in the month, Jupiter conjunct um, Uranus, and Mercury conjunct Venus as well later on in the month. And so it, it's it's a real, it's a very positive month overall, the energies overall when it comes to your intuitive development, your intuition, tapping into those deeper layers of yourself, when it comes to romance, when it comes to um, expression, creativity, and especially these pivoting energies of flipping what you were doing, of finally being able to shift into the gear that you're supposed to be in, to shift into the work that you're supposed to be doing. And we're seeing here also in Tarot and Lenormand, when both show up together, and if the star comes in as well, then it is definite psychic ability. But here we see the sun and the moon, which indicates clairvoyance usually. So there's an uptick again, in um, humanity's ability to tap into other ways of communication or other avenues of information sourcing. <laughs> so in other words, to be clear, this is a great month for you to do downloads, to do channelings, to do automatic writings, to get it all out that you've been, you know, maybe holding in and not really expressing to the world. Let's see what other cards are coming up for us. We've got the Knight of Swords. It's a month that's going to move fairly quickly. And like I said, pivot energy on a dime. Things are just going to flip and start rolling in the other direction. Then we've got the Wheel of Fortune on a dime. Things are going to flip and start rolling in the other direction. So this is a fantastic month to make that switch, to make that change. So if you were thinking of leaving your job or finding a new job, if you were thinking of getting a new place, if you're thinking of moving or you have to move, this may be the month for you. It may um, be an exact if you ride the wave, if you get yourself into it, if you jump on the energy, it, it will work itself out for you. The next is the King of Swords. So we've got 
you know, justice also coming in. We've got the devil, interesting, and the king of swords before the devil. So there's definitely a clarity around what's holding you back, who's holding you back, how you're holding yourself back. And there's a willingness to cut that cord and cut that tie. Okay. So if you don't work with Archangel Michael, now might be the time. We've got guidance from above. I'm telling you guys, this is the month in the year where it's really and healing and peace, four of swords. Okay, so the overall energies for the month of April, I'm feeling that there is definitely going to be an energy or a feeling around fate and destiny. It's going to feel like a month where there's a lot of destiny or things that are happening in line with fate. And it feels like a lot of it is going to be out of our hands. It's almost like you're just going to allow things to happen. But when you do that, when you allow things to happen, what's also going to happen is, like I said, this, this feeling of this pivot energy where things just flip on a dime and they were going in one direction and all of a sudden they start going in another. And you have to be able to flip with that and to go with that. So what I advise for this month is to really be in your authenticity, to be really connected to higher and to your guides, to be able to stem this when it happens and to be willing to release and let go. Of course, as we know, what doesn't serve, what's no longer valuable to you and all this and all that. But the main thing, because these cards are dead center here, are the King of Swords and the Devil. So it's really indicating to me that this false devil, this false fear, this false whatever it is that you have attached yourself to, you're going to be super clear about it, about where you possibly went wrong, right? So this is the month where you're really going to see the forest for the trees. You're going to see the truth of a situation. Even more truths are coming out this month, apropos. So um, it, it, it feels like, you know, if you're ready to become authentic, if you're ready to go down a true path, this is the month for you. If you're ready to explore the truth of your soul, this is the month for you. So it's it's really going to be um, an interesting, interesting, interesting energy if you know how to ride it and take it, take it with you. Now, what's also coming up is there is a Mars and Saturn conjunction. Mars and Saturn together are usually pretty harsh. They're both malefics, but this one seems to have something with it that is really actually beneficial. It's really giving us the, the energy to who get things done, right? Because Mars is that initiatory energy and Saturn is the carry through disciplined, right? So it gives us this, this determination and sustained effort and gives us this, this drive to um, pursue things. It can also give us the difficulty in expressing healthy anger and it can give us difficulty in be in acceptance tolerance of others, right? So it, it uh, yeah, and it can, it's another energy that's just outing truth. That's just outing truth. So it's, um, we're going to be hearing more about people as well that may have misled um, children. Okay, so justice is coming down, or we're going to be hearing about it, about the, the, the authentic truth, you know, the authentic truth, justice and truth here, because Clarity is being brought to the devil, okay, of people who are supposed to be guiding our youngsters, who are supposed to be taking care of our youngsters and things happening that aren't supposed to be happening. But by the end of the month, it'll it'll quiet down a little bit again, but it'll it'll be a topic throughout this month. So this is going to affect people in particular who we're already hearing about, we're going to continue hearing about them. Okay, so something the wheel is turning for those people and those people that were on top of the wheel and weren't afraid of anything and thought they could get away with everything, but were really doing damage and harm to young people, to children, to those that were seeking guidance, to those that needed guidance, support and help. Um, it, it's, it's coming down. It's coming down. Okay, these structures are coming down. There's There seems to be a real focus on that again and a real working towards that. And I want to say that it's coming from a specific direction because remember when this happened before and when this whole thing started kicking off um, of the truth reveal was several years ago, the, the other election, 
right? Since 2016, 2017, it's, it's been, it's been coming out. I mean, it was out before that certain people, certain ones of us knew about all this, even before that all came out, but we sounded kooky. We sounded loony. We sounded like, you know, we know, right. But now it's, it's really ramping up again. So what corner is it coming from again? So there's this, um, you know, there's this calling <laughs> to to see the truth, and um, the truth will be further revealed again um, by by this corner, by this this side of things. And that's all I'm going to say to that. You guys that could hear what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying, where this is coming from, and possibly why. But whatever, it's doing good. It's doing good, and. Um, this this is going to continue to to be um, spoken about, brought out on the open. So we also see here with the sun and the moon that hidden things will come to light in the month of April. Okay, hidden things will come to light in the month of April. Okay, so let's move on. And um, so the overall energy, I'd say if you want to get authentic, this is the month for it. So whatever your authenticity and your soul alignment leads you to do, it would behoove you to follow it and to take the moment, to ride that moment, to ride that wave and get to where you really, truly want to be. Okay, so let's dive in and have a look from Aries through to Pisces. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. It's just a month and um, see what the main messages are for you. Of course, don't hesitate to check your sun, moon, rising. And of course, you can check your personal planets. You can check every sign if you want and apply it to that area of your life. Like you can do that too. I've heard it works. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's see. Just um, exert the main message, the main energies out of it. And of course, we're starting off with the beginning of the Zodiac and the birthday, babies. Happy birthday, Aries. I hope that you have an amazing birthday, even though we're actually in the month of Taurus at this time, if you actually look at the heavens because of the um, procession of the equinoxes, we are about 23.5 degrees off the actual signs that are hanging in the sky at this moment. Aries is now moved back into March. So the actual Aries month is about mid-March um, till mid-April, right? Uh, no, move forward, excuse me. The actual Pisces month is about mid-March to mid-April, then Aries from mid-April to mid-May, okay? So um, yeah, so but those of us that still do the western and follow the western happy birthday aries <laughs> and this is for aries what's coming up for aries in this month of april please immediately aries um i saw something taking flight taking flight and um taking off i i feel the energies for you are really propelling you forward they're pushing you forward aries this is a month where things can really take off for you so let's see what's coming up. This is what it is, what it's not, and the advice. What it is for you, Aries, is I told you, the energies are taking off. This is a month where you can really experience victory, where it's a yes. If you were hoping to hear something positive or um, waiting for some positive news, this is definitely a yes for you. It feels like you're riding off with a victory. You're riding off with a crown. This is an energy that is going to boost all your endeavors. You've come a long way, Aries, and you've pushed yourself hard and you've pushed yourself through a lot of difficulty and a lot of setbacks and a lot of pushbacks as well and it feels like now you're getting your justified victory now victory is not really a victory okay unless the others see it let's let's be honest <laughs> So you will get that because that's what the six of wands is about. It's about mainly about being supported, finding support, right? In your community, in the people around you, people approaching you and telling you, oh, wow, this is amazing. I want to do this with you. I want to support you through this. And you being able to carry that. And then the past just falls away from you, Aries, because it doesn't matter anymore. Those were all just stepping stones to get you 
into this moment that will lead you into your actual victory moment, which is still to come. So, but this is a great sign for you. This is a sign that you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. You're making the right moves, Aries. Keep going. So what it's not for you, which means don't expect this and don't bank on it. <laughs> and also don't obsess over this, okay? This is this is going to come up in your energy in April. And this is your, your hint not to dive too deep into it, not to let it distract you. You could be expecting fairness. The world wasn't meant to be fair. <laughs> Nobody said it was supposed to be fair. Who told you that, Aries? Who told you? <laughs> they lied. They did. And um, the world is not meant to be fair. <gasps> so it's, it is what it is. We, we strive for fairness as an ideal, okay? And it's important to do that. And, um, but... <sighs> The true fairness is, is taking in consideration all aspects, all aspects in all ways, on every level, in everything. And um, that's just impossible because we, we can't see all aspects. We can't see all dimensions. We can't see all the past lives, parallel lives, future lives that are influencing this moment right here, right now. So it's, it's impossible, but we do the best we can. And so in this month, don't be obsessed with a fairness in the sense of how others treat you. You try to do the best you can, Aries. You be the best you can. Be as fair as you can be. But if you encounter people that are, you know, unfair, unjust, or what have you, deep breath and keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Don't engage. Don't get pulled out of balance. See how even though he's he's giving, he's not out of balance. The 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 scales are are even. He's not expecting anything in return. So when you're giving of your time, energy, effort, Aries, don't expect anything in return. Don't get your scales out of balance here, okay? Just keep it moving when you encounter people that um, that are kind of also poorer than you when it comes to spiritually, right? We're not talking about monetary. We're talking about spiritually. They just don't have that spirituality. They don't have that level. They don't have that energy. They don't have that connection, so you just have to, whatever's coming out of you, through you, to them and for them, that's the way God designed it. That's the way it was meant to be. Don't expect anything in return. Don't get caught up on this. Don't, you know, hope for, for justice. Don't, don't do anything. What you need to focus on is you're winning. You're winning. Keep going. Keep going. I'm here with my pom-poms on. Yay. <laughs> So the advice is to be mindful, okay? Sometimes when we, we, we're on this winning streak, we get a little arrogant or we get a little, you know, uppity. We get a little like that. So the, the thing is to always be reflective and be mindful. And while not getting stuck in your past failures, also don't forget what it took, where you came from and what it took to get you to this position, okay? So um, also continue working on other plans. Don't just focus on one plan and one project. Put all your energy into that. Yes, that's important. Put your energy into it, but also have a plan B, have a plan C, have a plan D, right? Keep projects going. That's what I'm feeling. And so you always have something that you can pull up out of your hat. If one thing doesn't work out, oh, that's okay. You know, I, I, I got this going on too. And um, diversify your portfolio. That's what I'm hearing really strongly. Not to keep all your money in one one basket, all your assets, all your funds. Like if you're already doing well financially, you probably already know this, but it seems that for some reason, some of you need to know this, that you need to um, diversify. You need to open up. You need to expand. You need to branch out in multiple ways. Um on multiple levels, Aries. Okay. So that's the message that's coming up for me, for you, for April. It's time to expand. Don't expect anything in return from others. Do the best you can and enjoy your wins and your victories and keep it moving. Okay. Moving on to Taurus. Taurus, what's coming up for you? What's your message, please, in the month of April? What does Taurus need to hear? What does Taurus need to hear? The month of April, Taurus, please, Taurus. This is what it is, what it's not, and the advice. Taurus, what's coming up for you? So the overall, you've got 
the two of pentacles Taurus it feels like this is a month where you know there there are a lot of things that you got to keep juggling and keep in the air you may have multiple children multiple jobs um multiple oh, who knows right I'm not saying anything <laughs> <laughs> but it feels like you're juggling something this month and there's a certain indecision and uncertainty and a hesitation to move forward into something. And I feel almost as if you don't have enough information. That's what's holding you back. You don't have enough information about what it is you should be moving into. And so you're hesitating until you have that information. Some of you are juggling to make ends meet. OK, this is one of those months where you should be budgeting. You shouldn't be having any huge expenditures. You should be careful because there is going to be a hole in your pocket. The money is going to want to run and you've got to make sure that you kind of like keep things together for yourself. OK, what you shouldn't be focused on, what you shouldn't be worried about, what you shouldn't be thinking about much is um and the card that came up is victory okay um let me yeah what you shouldn't be worried about or focused on is is getting the upper hand or the high hand over someone else this is read in the opposite way to the one that came up in aries because it's in the not position right so what you shouldn't be so this is getting the upper hand or the higher hand over someone else and you shouldn't be focused on this taurus it, 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 it doesn't matter it doesn't um don't dwell on it don't reflect too hard on it don't don't just don't okay your day will come it will absolutely come, okay? Might not be, you know, in, in April. It might be, though. It's not a horrible month for you. It's just a month where take it easy, one step at a time. Don't get too, too hasty, especially when it comes to money expenditures. And when you're doing things, don't focus on doing it because it'll make you look good or this is what's going to get you, this is going to look great on your resume or this is what's going to get you the next job or this is going to get you the win. Don't do that. Just do it out of the bottom of your heart. The advice card is you're going to have to um, face the fear, Taurus, okay? Yep. The moon card has to do with our fears surfacing and it doesn't have to do with us having to live through our fears. In the extreme case, yes. But um, in this case, I'm feeling it's just there's a fear that's guiding you, that's tainting your perspective on things, Taurus, that isn't quite true, okay? And you're going to have to look at that fear in order to, to take out that, that perspective, that filter, so that you can see what is actually true. And um, to really look at that fear and say, is this really happening right now? No. Is this really something that could potentially happen in the future? Okay, could. But what are the alternatives? Is there any other thing that could happen as well? Yes. Could it be that it's a better outcome? Yes. So is this really true? Like you can guide yourself through that, but you have to accept and face the fear that you're feeling in order for it to you to gain control over it and you to be able to to pin it down also where it's coming from, especially if you you're one of those that has some kind of um anxiety but you're not quite sure what the source of that anxiety is so it does feel as if there's a concern overall if something that you're hoping and praying for is going to come through for you or is going to work itself out for you and um if you're going to be on the winning side of things with this and i have to say let me pull one card for clarification it will be a yes you've got the power you've got the strength taurus you've got the ability you've got the capability so don't let yourself be held back in any which way shape or form by your fears okay that's the only thing that can hold you up is your fear Okay, moving on to Gemini. What's the message for Gemini in the month of April, please? The month of Gemini. The month of Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini? The month of Gemini. The month of Gemini. The month of Gemini. The sign of Gemini, the month of April. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, the sign of Gemini. This is what it is, what it's not, and the advice. What's coming up for Gemini, please? And we've got Gemini, five of pentacles. There's something going on here with you quite not quite feeling like you're in the right spot or in the right place or in the right time. It could also be that you do have financial concerns. This is the 
definite, you know, um, most go to meaning of this card, but also feeling like being ostracized or sent out or not being fully integrated in a group. Um, some of you may be also going through some kind of mobbing situation when it comes to your workplace or in some kind of an argumentative situation when it comes to your family. It could also be um, arguments around <clears throat> family inheritances or things of that nature. <clears throat> excuse me, know that this too shall pass. However, don't um, hope that the power to deal with this will be taken from you. It's almost like you're blaming fate or you're saying, oh, why did, the, you know, this is, why is this happening to me? Um, this is life's fault. But it could also be that you're um, hoping that fate will take care of it, like sticking your head in the sand and hoping that fate is just going to take care of it for you. And you won't have to encounter this, face this, deal with this, work with this, um, find your way through this. Now, what a lot of readers point out is that you see these two figures, how they walk past the church. And we don't know what happened. Were they sent away? Did they go to the door and knock? Um, or did they not dare to go to the door and knock? Did they not dare to try and go into the warmth? Because you can see the light is on behind these windows here or something there where they either feel undeserving or they've been told they were undeserving. And this could be you dealing with that emotion, that energy in April for whatever reason, Gemini. But know that this is not coming from life. This is not something that was dictated to your soul to experience when you came in here. This is something you acquired here. This is something that you... Um, picked up here. And this is why you can only solve it here. Okay, you may be turning to spirituality, you may be turning to or praying, which is fantastic, because prayer is in alignment. Um, you may be doing all these things, but spirit is coming through and it's saying it's on you, Gemini, you've got to fix this because this has to do with your love for yourself, your self value, your self worth, and you feeling that your life is worthy. Okay, the advice card here is to heed this message. <laughs> this is the Eight of Wands, which has to do with messages. Heed this message. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs as they arise in your life, okay? This also deals with people, okay? So if someone is allowing you to feel unworthy, Gemini, this is someone you should probably pay attention to the signs, okay? And, and move away from all right, so that's your message for the month of April. It's 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 a deep one, and it's not really because it runs underneath all your experiences, whether it be relationships, business, finances. You've got to deal with your self worth and your self value and how you perceive yourself, and if you think you're worthy of the things that you desire, and to not blame life for not giving it to you or um, you know taking things away from you, but to recognize that. This life, you program yourself too. It's not just stuff from past lives or from before life or pre-life. It's this life. And um, that this programming, you have now the opportunity to dissolve. Okay? Moving on to Cancer. Thanks for listening, Gemini. Moving on to Cancer. Cancer, what's coming up for Cancer? What does Cancer? Let me take a sip. <laughs> Cancer, what's coming up for Cancer, please? Cancer, the sign of Cancer, what's coming up? The sign of Cancer. What's coming up for the sign of Cancer? This is what it is, what it's not. And the advice, Cancer. So we've got the Ten of Swords in April. Wow, okay. Um, I feel a very strong, no, it's like a strong, ah, that's coming through for me when I think of your sign in the month of April. Um, a lot of frustration, aggravation, and things just coming to an end. You deciding that, you know what, this is as far as it goes. I, I can't take it any further, and I'm not going to take it any further. Some of you are dealing with betrayal trauma or feeling betrayed or having gone through betrayal. Um, some of you are accused possibly of betrayal, which is hurting you. But it something is is absolutely reached its high point, and you're just done with it. You're just over it. You're done with it. This is like the end of the chapter. This is really the end of the end of the end. And the Ten of the Swords is is showing up to show that maybe you'll take the entire month to grieve this or to 
feel through this or to really work through this. It could be, but it really genuinely feels like it's the end of the end. Then we have what it's not and what you shouldn't be focused on is the King of Pentacles. So definitely telling us here because the King of Pentacles is absolute stability. It's rock solid that you shouldn't be focused on this being stable in your life or fo focus on this being a, a, a rock in your life that you can build on. Okay. So you may also not want to focus on anything too strongly in this month that has to do with business beyond what you have to do, right? But it feels to be a month where you really need to be focused on your emotional health, your mental health, um, taking care of yourself internally. There's, it, it, there was too much focus on your mind, overthinking things, thinking things through, through logical sequences. And it, it's come to an end here. Like you, you can't find another way out. You can't find another logical sequence. You're just finally moving into the energy of accepting things as they are. By the end of the month, however, you will be revived. Okay, so I do feel the beginning of the month starts off with a wham for you, Cancer. Like, oof. And either a surprise that is from the previous month rolling out, you grieving, it could be the end of the relation of a relationship, it could be a passing, it could be um something of those along those lines, but it it absolutely feels as if something is closing out, the cycle that is closing out for you. And by the end of the month, though, either somebody is coming back around or you're trying to go back around if this is a relationship, or um, your, your soul is revived. And that's what I'm banking on the most is that your soul is revived, that it's it's found peace um, and closure and understanding with things as they are and is able to move on, okay? So this is a... Um, a pivot month for you, Cancer. It's a month where things that were going in one direction all of a sudden pivot into the next, into another, and not to the clear messages, not to bank on it being a stable situation that's going to be there forever that you um, can build on in that sense, not this, okay? But by the end of the month, you've got the judgment card, so you're coming back around again. Okay. It's, it's, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. But this month might be a difficult one for you emotionally to um, move through, but not too horrible or overly difficult. Just, just things, things happen and that's perfectly okay. Might be a month of misunderstandings as well. It might be easy to misunderstand yourself or others. So be mindful, take your time and give a lot of compassion and leeway to other people. Okay. As the saying goes, you know, you can't be kind to everyone because you don't know what they're going through. Okay. All right. Moving on to Leo. Leo, what's your message, please? What's coming up for Leo? What does Leo need to know for the month of April 2024? And we've got Leo. The first card that's coming up for you is making plans to move or walk away or leave something behind or split off from something. You may be deep into making plans, okay? Or you may be feeling very strongly that it's time for you to move on. It's, this is, you know, you're in some kind of a situation or in some kind of place where you're feeling like, okay, my time here is up and it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to do other things, but it's not just moving on. Notice how he's moving up as well, okay? He's not just moving on and just meandering. He's going up. And this card is the eight. So we know that the following card is the nine, which is the wish fulfillment card, which means that he's moving in the direction of truly fulfilling his soul wishes. And this is what's happening for you in the month of April. You're going to be able to do something significant to push yourself in the direction of your dreams, to push yourself in the direction that you feel you should be going into. And in spite of your fears, because again, look at this eclipse here happening in the sky. Okay. Look at this eclipse happening in the sky. So in spite of you feeling like I don't have the energy, I don't have what it takes, I don't know if I can do this. And your fear, the moon is looking down on you, you know, and possibly like playing with you, you're still going to venture outward and make it happen. So good on you, Leo. And um, 
if you are really moving and and all the best to you wishing you all luck um but yeah it really feels like april is the month for you to start packing and start moving whether that be symbolically or or literally okay what you shouldn't be focused on don't be worried about this your fears i can't believe this we were just talking about that okay and um, the cards are always face down on my desk, so I didn't see it. But yeah, we literally have here the moon that we were just talking about. And um, your fears are overshadowing, and you shouldn't be afraid. Do not fear not. Fear not, Leo. So there's a lot going on inside of you, and um, there may be voices outside of you as well, inside of you, outside of you, saying all kinds of things, going in all different directions and having opinions everywhere. And you've got to choose your path. And we see that very clearly here in the Eight of Cups. You've got to choose your own path. You can't, you got to walk away from the squabbling, you know, um, whether internal or externalized, you've got to walk away and just do your own thing. Really follow your inner guidance, follow your desires. This person is dressed in red. So red in the tarot is a color of desire. It's a color of, of motivation as well. Okay. Intention, motivation, and, um, but mainly desires. So it's saying, follow your desires. Okay. So that's coming up for you in the month of April. Um, it does feel as if when it comes to relationships, you may be walking away from someone or someone walking away from you. You may be getting over someone walking away from you as well. You may still be getting over someone following their own desires and being kind of butthurt that their desire didn't include you. And that's perfectly fine because you're not meant to be there at this time. You're actually meant to move your life forward during this month as well. And for them to come in and to show you it's okay to follow your desires. It's okay to follow what it is that you want to do, um, that you feel within you, and not to over-rationalize it to the point where you've talked yourself out of it again. You need to take concrete steps now on what it is that you desire and have the guts and the courage to move things forward. Okay. All right. Moving on to Virgo. What's coming up for you as a message for the month ahead, for the month of April? For Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know, please, Virgo? Virgo, what's coming up for Virgo for April 2024? We've got the hanged man. So Virgo, you're, you know, hanging in there and learning to see things from a different perspective. There's also some of you that is wait that are waiting for something. There's something you're waiting for before you do something or you take a step and while you're waiting for it, your perspective changes. So if you really want to do something, don't wait too long. That's the message I'm getting. Get going. Because if you wait too long, your perspective is going to change. And you might not do what it is that you set out to do or what you initially wanted to do. But it feels like a waiting game month where things don't move as quickly. For whatever reason, you might be feeling the, uh, the retrograde a little bit more than other people. But things aren't moving as quickly as you'd hoped. And there's some kind of waiting loop that I feel you caught up in. But that's okay because it's time for you to also, when it comes to other things, reconsider. Now, some of you may be, um, I wouldn't say be playing hard to get, but you may be asking for time. Things may be moving quickly for you. They may be moving, um, you know, Time may be moving ahead quickly for you, and you may be needing a little bit slow down, a little bit more time. And I can even feel it with this message as it's coming through. It's like, <sighs> so it feels like there's a rest period that is needed. You may have invested a lot of your energy, um, Virgo, and yeah, and there, it's time to rest. It's time to de-stress. It's time to rest during this month of April. It's time to just take a deep breath in. Don't let yourself get caught up by the energies. And we see that also here with the three of wands and the three of wands is indicating having a vision, but also taking action steps, actionable steps to make that vision come true. This man has already sent out his ships and he's seeing his ships return with the goods from the other countries. And so that positive wave of expectation is also what the three of wands 
represents positive expectations, positive hopes. So you shouldn't be focused on having to do things all the time to make things happen or make things come around. You shouldn't be piling expectations on yourself on who you expect yourself to be or how you're supposed to be. Just hang in there, take a deep breather. This too shall pass, Virgo, and um, gain new perspectives on what success means to you, what happiness means to you, what wealth means to you, what all of this means to you and you will come out of this differently and become aware of what you're you're trapped and tied to that's what i was picking up was this materialistic bent or strain um tied to the material which is what this box or this cube represents the four sides and um becoming aware of that taking the time to become aware of what's truly motivating you. And once you realize that, then you'll realize that the motivation and the intention seeks to be fulfilled. And if it's not the right motivation or intention, then you're not going to be happy with what it fulfills or what it creates or what it brings in. So you're going to have to take a breather, take a moment, Virgo, deep breath in and figure out what is really motivating you and moving you. Okay. Gain a different perspective. All right, moving on to Libra. Ah, oh, when it comes to relationships, Virgo, it feels like this will be a slow moving month. Um, it may be a month with a lot of sensuality. If those of you have that kind of connection or relationship, but otherwise it's, it's a pretty slow moving month when it comes to um, relationships. I mean, committed long-term relationships, okay? unless you're already in one. I think I made myself clear. I'll move on. <laughs> Libra. What's coming up for Libra? And Libra, three cards already fell out. Wow. Okay. What's coming up? And there's the fourth. All righty. What's coming up for Libra? That's interesting. Libra, this is a month where you step back into your own power. We've got the magician and you're ready to roll. You're ready to go. You found energy from somewhere and you're learning how to channel it now. You're learning to bring it to earth. You're learning to manifest whatever it is that you desire to create. Then in the next card, we have the five of wands. You're still plagued by doubt. You're plagued by um, other people's opinions. But of course, you shouldn't focus on that. You need a singular direction forward, and you should be the one to determine that. What else, Libra? We've got the Ace of Wands, fresh starts, new beginnings. I do feel that someone wants a new beginning with you, someone with whom you have had past difficulties. Okay. And then we have the um, karma card, which is smaller karma card, which, which popped out. So I'll just take it. <laughs> and this is compassion, kindness, and generosity. Okay. So Libra, what I'm picking up for you guys is that you have a lot of energy this month to make things happen the way that you desire. You're supposed to make things happen the way that you desire this month. You're supposed to focus on um, business, accumu uh, accumulating things, manifesting things, creating things around you, being productive. And through that, you're going to develop in your charisma. Your energy field is just going to sparkle and glow, and it's going to attract all these people into you. You're going to come across as super attractive this month. People are going to feel like when they're in your presence, their life levels up, Libra. It's going to be a beautiful month for the people that are close to you. As the energy that moves through you is also leveling you up, is leveling them up too. So it does feel as if you've done significant amounts of self-work and this is going to pay itself off. It's going to show itself. It's going to reveal itself in this month as you step back out fully empowered. It could be that you've been isolating yourself. You've been hiding away in some way, shape or form, but now you step back out fully empowered and um, you, you take the reins. And this is going to confuse a lot of people. It's like you're going to thrive in confusion in the sense that um, you're going to move I wouldn't say stealthily because the magician is not stealth. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. But it's still going to be a surprise to people. They're going to be surprised and they're not going to know where to categorize this, where to put this, what to do with this, um, what's going to happen with this. And so, and again, the five of wands also has to do with sex appeal. Okay. It has to do with sex appeal. 
And um, so it, it really feels as if you're not going to be focused on your sex appeal, but everybody's going to notice it. <laughs> you're going to come across as super charismatic, very attractive. You're going to be magnetizing people, but you have to harness your own energy as well. That is going to be all over the place, focusing on many different projects at once, and you can't get pulled out of your middle. You're learning how to focus the energy as the magician and channel it into manifesting what it is that you envision and desire. Here we have the opportunity for a new beginning and a fresh start. And for some reason, I feel like, so I'll say it, this fresh start may not be a complete fresh start. For many of you, yes, a complete fresh start, right? The people that you meet are going to be completely different. The dates you go on, you've never met them before. But for some of you, someone wants to come around and give a start over again and start a fresh start. And they want to do right by you this time. Okay, they, they want to do right by you this time. This may have been someone that you were squabbling with, but they want to do right by you this time. And we've got the six of pentacles, which indicates generosity, compassion, and kindness. Just a reminder in all of your dealings to be generous, compassionate, and kind this month because it will return to you. Moving on to Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, what's coming up for Scorpio, please? What does Scorpio need to know for this month ahead? of April. What is the message for April for Scorpio, please? Scorpio, what's the month ahead? What's the month ahead for Scorpio? Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know? And we've got for Scorpio, the lovers. Look at that. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Scorpio. A Gemini or um, this can also deal with contracts and agreements that are in alignment or in attunement with you and the other person. It's a win-win situation. But overall, it feels like this is actually dealing with a love relationship this month. Love is going to be in the books for you. Flirting, being flirted with, um, being taken out on dates, being seen, being seen as charismatic, as sexy. Um, some of you that are in relationships this may be going further there may be an engagement um, your person may express their commitment to you in some way shape or form but you're going to have the opportunity this month to really bring things together if you know what I mean here we have the king of swords <sighs> yeah focus on reconciliation and getting together and getting along being the lover's energy rather in the judgment energy so if you were having difficulties with someone, maybe someone that you're dating or in a relationship with, but you love them, then you can't show up consistently as this King of Swords energy. You're going to have to learn to give a little, okay? You can't be raising people or telling them who they need to be or judging them or any of that. This energy has to go. This is why they're saying don't focus on this. Now, if this person is in your life, so someone who is dictatorial, authoritarian, he top heavy, heavy down, so to speak, hands on your head, pushing you down um, imagery, um, that has to go. This is not something that you want to continue in your life. But you, if you're acting like this, you can't do that anymore. Really focus on what's loving, what's giving, what's balancing, what's nurturing, what's um, making you feel good, what's inspiring you to be openly you. You've got the Knight of Swords. When it's time to clear the air, go ahead and clear the air. When it's time to speak truth, go ahead and speak truth, Scorpio. Don't be afraid of it. But someone is bringing drama to your door. This month, um, there's some kind of a hard truth that um, needs to be said behind the scenes that isn't being spoken. Maybe you've been sitting on it for quite some while because you really wanted to maintain this energy. That could be as well. But it this lover's energy, but it feels like a hard truth and needs to be addressed, spoken about in your current situation. Okay. Moving on to... Sagittarius, what's coming up for Sagis, please? Sagis. Sagis. Sagittarius. Oh, back to Scorpio. Someone coming in really quickly on the wind. Okay. Someone coming in quickly, surprisingly. If you're single, it's time to get out there because someone's going to be on your doorstep this month. Surprisingly. You wouldn't expect it. Okay. Now on to Sagittarius. Sag, Sagittarius, what's your message, please? What's the message for Sagittarius? What do they need to know? 
for this month ahead of April. What's coming up for them? We've got the Six of Cups going back to childhood, Sag. Sag, um, it feels like some kind of a long-standing issue is being revived for you. Someone has come back into your life that you've, you know, it reminds your inner child, um, has awoken your inner child in some way, shape, or form. This 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 could be, you know, a long lost child or a long lost friend or someone that you haven't spoken to in quite some time, possibly returning or are you thinking about them again? And even the thought carries a memory, which carries a message, right? So there's some kind of a message that these people that are returning into your life are carrying for you. And it's a message of love. They, they want to show you, they want to tell you that they care, that they love you. Um, they want to, to bring that message to you, but some of you are not reciprocal of it. That's what I'm feeling because you've been brokenhearted. Okay. And this is the other card. This is what you need to let go of. Some of you Sagittarius's have allowed yourself to become bitter. Okay. Because you feel that you're entitled to bitterness because of your broken heart, because you've been hurt in the past before. So now you're cynical, you're jaded, you're bitter, and it's time to release that and let that go. Then we've got the five of swords. You've also, somebody's been telling lies, okay? Either you've been telling lies about this person or this person has been telling lies about you or you perceive that, but it feels like there was a lot of pain and hurt and grief in the past. And now this person is coming back around again and wanting to either reconcile, make things up or apologize. But the apology goes both ways and you're deciding you're not ready to apologize, okay? You might not be ready to apologize. This is still sitting in the room that's still weighing heavy and um there's some of you that are carrying a deep hard grudge and you're just not willing to to release that this i feel is also could be family okay there's there's something to do with family that's coming up for me here um it's time for you to release it though sag this is not doing you any good and i almost feel like there's a distortion. Why? Because of these clouds. These clouds are distorted. So there's a distortion in your perception of the situation or this other person has a distortion of the situation. Here, when it comes to the love that you guys have, this is the truth. We've got a blue sky and it's all clear. But here we have clouds and here we have clouds. Okay. So there's a distortion here in the pain that needs to be looked at from your side or the other side. Hmm. but it feels like this energy once it's cleared it's going to open you up again for love for big beautiful unbelievable love okay so try to get into a space of being able to forgive you have to be able to forgive Sanj. okay let it go let it go it's not worth it capricorn what's the message that you need to hear that's coming up for you now capricorn What's coming up for you for April 2024, 2024? What's coming up for uh, Capricorn, April 2024? April, we've got new beginnings, Ace of Wands, and um, inspired new beginnings. You've got a vision and you're ready to manifest it. You're ready to do whatever it takes. You're ready to go out there and take care of business. You're, you're feeling that energy come up again, that springtime energy. And you're feeling like this time I got it this time. I'm going to make things happen this time. I'm going to put myself out there and um, follow my dreams, follow my guides, you know, and what you shouldn't be focused on is similar to Sag is the hurts of the past. Maybe you just went through something Capricorn that tore you apart, you know, that really took pieces out of you and where you fought battles that you never wanted to fight where you did things you didn't want to do where you felt forced to be someone you never wanted to be and now you're like you know what I'm, I'm taking a break I'm done I'm over it I'm moving on I'm starting fresh I don't I, I don't want this energy anymore so the advice is to keep your positive thoughts positive this is the star to keep your head high your thoughts positive keep focused on your hopes, your dreams, your goals, the outcome, and don't let yourself be distracted anymore by anyone or anything else, okay? Um, it feels like this is a perfect time. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, another Aquarius, uh, well, you're Capricorn. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. You could also be dealing with an air sign such as Gemini or Libra or Aquarius, 
you could also be dealing, um, I, I feel the fire sign is for you though. You might have fire in your chart somewhere or strong willpower, generally speaking, but you're ready to focus that willpower onto something like really phenomenal. And it feels like you're, you're putting yourself into a project into a project that carries a lot of hope, not just for yourself, but for other people as well. So this is, it's beautiful, you know, it's beautiful. It's the perfect energy for you. And um, yeah, it feels very um, giving structure, Capricorn and the Ace of Wands, giving structure to an inspired motion, an inspired movement, okay? Um, it's a sexy card too, the Ace of Wands, by the way. So yeah. There's that. Aquarius, what is it that you need to know, Aquarius? What is it that you need to know? What's your message coming up and through for the month of April 2024? The month of April 2024 for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, the month of April 2024, Aquarius. We've got the lovers, Aquarius. Okay. And um, the lovers in your case, because this popped up with, with Scorpio. And yeah, go check out Scorpio. <laughs> you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. But there's something coming up, which is. And um, it is beautiful, right? But it's also hot. And it's sudden and it's powerful. And um, what you shouldn't be focused on is the spilled cups of the past. Some of you Aquarius are really hard on yourselves and you're feeling like, you know, if everybody saw the truth of me, they would be disappointed in me. If everybody saw everything I'd done, they would be disappointed in me. You're so disappointed in yourself that you can't see how lovable you actually are and that you are worthy, right? You've also been fighting a battle by yourself for yourself for quite some time. And the advice is not to give up because this might be continuing, especially when it comes to your work, your career. Aquarius, you may have to continue to put yourself first, to put yourself out there, to um, fight against others that are trying to take you down from your notch um, people that are speaking things about you, untruths about you, putting rumors, gossip out there about you. There may be a situation at your place of work with people getting very competitive with you, but it feels as if you're still going to have to put the energy and the effort in to stand your ground and stand strong. So, so Aquarius, some of you are giving up hope when it comes to romance and when it comes to love. So this month may be you know, by spirit, giving you the opportunity to realize that you don't have to give up hope, you don't have to um, give anything up when it comes to love, that love comes to you too, that you're deserving of love, that love has found a way to you, you may be meeting someone new this month, you may be, but there's still even if you're meeting someone new this month, there's a grief that you're still having to let go of um, from the previous while Aquarius. Okay, there's a grief that's running through here. And it says you shouldn't be focused on that. But you are. And um, it has to do with the grief around love. Okay, so a past love that you haven't quite let go of that hasn't quite let you go, um, that you're really moving through working through um, growing through um, healing through. And it might make you a little bit more aggressive than you usually are. So mind that it might make you feel like you've been left alone or you've been abandoned or you've been, I wouldn't say betrayed, but it's almost I've been left behind. That's the feeling I'm getting. And I have to now fight my way through everything by myself. So be mindful of that. Okay, be mindful of that. Give yourself the space, then the time that you need to heal. And especially don't think that you're unlovable or unworthy. It's not true, Aquarius. You are absolutely lovable, absolutely worthy. And um, don't think that because of your past mistakes or the things that you to were told that you did wrong, that you are somehow less than. But it feels like this past relationship just took everything out of you Aquarius and now you have to rebuild 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 and it feels like a, a battle upward 
um, you've been trying to do the right thing, but somehow it, it didn't work out the way that you wanted to, to, and you may be a little bit disappointed about that. Okay. But a new love is coming and it might be this month, but I hope for you that if it is this month, you you've moved through your, your, your pain, right? You've moved through your pain so that you're ready for this beautiful new opportunity that the universe is, is introducing you to. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, what is it that you need to know when it comes to the month of April 2024? What is it that you need to know, Pisces, and the month of April 2024? What's coming up for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know? What's the message for Pisces? What's the message for Pisces? The message, please, for that Pisces needs to hear. And you've got an extra card, Pisces. What a, two extra cards. What a wonderful month it's going to be, I think. I hope. Let's see. But um, we've got the two of wands. The world is opening up to you again, Pisces. Mm -hmm. You've got visions. You've got goals. You've got dreams. But you're also measuring to see, what can I do? You know, how far can I go? Um do I have the resources to get done what I need to get done? Do, do, do I have the potential? Do I have the possibility? What are my possibilities here? So there's a hope that is springing up again for you. Um, plans and, and new beginnings, but it's all coming up, up, up. But you still have to put in the effort to really make it manifest and come about. But the energy is there. The energy is there. The ideas is there are there you're just making the connections now but there's a hope on the horizon pisces that is bigger than it ever used to be than it used to be before then you've got oh, the three of wands following don't ever focus on the outcome don't 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 and i know that's easier said than done you know but if you focus on the outcome you might not get going Focus on the project, focus on the next little step, right? You've you've set your goal and now you've let that goal go and you move from little goal to little goal to little goal to little goal, which will get you to the big goal. But you can't think of the big goal all the time in this process. Otherwise, you'll just hold yourself back. You'll feel like things aren't moving ahead. Things are stuck. They're not working out. They're not getting there quick enough. You're not good enough and all these things. So they're saying, don't, don't, don't right? Overwhelm yourself with whatever it is that you're trying to do. Focus on the little things one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. Now the three extra cards. We've got the six of coins. So something returning to you, charity being spoken over you and given to you, compassion being shown to you this month. We've got the 10 of wands, you carrying burdens as well. And this could be the burden of success, which is what I'm feeling, but also the burden of responsibility. And for some reason, the five of swords showed up in the reverse. A curse is leaving your life. Oh my gosh. A curse is leaving your life. Something, and this is why these cards came in that way. So six of coins has to do with, you know, um, karma card or a balance or an injustice or something being righted. And then we have the Ten of Wands, something that was burdened. This may be an ancestral burden as well. And then we have the Five of Swords, which can also be indicated as a curse. This may be a familial curse, an inherited curse, um, something like that. But it's in the reverse. So this energy is leaving. It's passing. It's not coming in. You've already gone through it. It was a horrible energy, horrible, horrible, horrible Five of Swords energy. For some of you, this can also indicate your health is returning. So if you've been having health issues, if you've been having money issues, if you've been having issues around, you know, evilness being spoken over you, about you, um, to you by others, or even about your family right, um, by others, and somehow there's this heaviness that's in your family lineage, this may be leaving your life this month, okay, it's finally, finally, finally over, this heavy burden that you've been carrying that has caused so much grief, anguish, and pain, it's, it's in the reverse, it's over, okay, so that's a powerful message, I feel that's quite specific to some of you that are listening, but for all of you that are listening, it's a month of visions and 
amazing potentials and possibilities, meeting the right people, being in the right place at the right time, making the right decisions, doing the right things, getting everything together and in alignment for your major vision to manifest. But again, don't focus on the outcome exclusively. Like really focus on just getting each step there done properly, concisely, having a solid foundation to get you to where you want to go. But overall, the energy is saying it's a fantastic month because something is liberating from you this month. Some kind of energy is opening up. Some kind of understanding is going pow in your consciousness. Something um, you managed to clear or clean or do something with your ancestral karma. There's some kind of a difference that you've made or that you've done that is different to what came before. And that is pushing you in a completely new, liberated, open, wonderful, amazing direction, Pisces. So proud of you. You did it. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. If you would like your personal reading, because remember that these are all just general readings, um, don't hesitate to connect with me. My link is in the description box below this video, and I look forward to working with you. Take care. Bye.